this is a kind of a, a, a another story about uh, the cost of uh, of regulation. Um, so one of the dreams Amazon has and has had for a long time, uh, Jeff Bezos articulated this 10 years ago, was that ultimately what they would like is to be able to deliver your packages to your doorstep using drones. Um, so the drone technology exists. Drones are powerful enough. Certainly today, uh, they weren't 10 years ago, but Bezos could project into the future and see that they were going to be. But drones are powerful enough to be able to uh, take a lot of the packages that we all get and basically airlift them uh, from some kind of regional warehouse uh, to your doorstep. And you might have to pay extra for that service, but for certain things like medications and certain things that you want urgently, you could get same-day delivery uh, by drone. And of course, drones don't have to deal with traffic. They're, they're pretty cheap to run. Uh, they are challenging because they could probably only do one packet at a time, so they're not incredibly efficient, so you would have to pay for it. But they would provide this amazing additional service and that, that again, could improve our standard of living quality of life uh, pretty substantially uh, if we could just uh, get the stuff that we need whenever we need it at, 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 at basically uh, very little cost. The drones shouldn't really interfere with commercial flights. They, they, they fly pretty low. Um, so uh, it's, not clear, it's not clear that there is. But, of course, the FAA, Federal Aviation uh, Agency, uh, it, it, you know, is responsible for, um, for uh, regulating uh, drone technologies. And uh, Amazon has been trying to get uh, trying to get uh, the FAA to approve their ability to do something called Prime Air. Prime Air, which would deliver packages within hours or within 30 minutes, actually, from the time you ordered them immediately to people, right? Um, but in order to get approval from the FAA, uh, Amazon has to run uh, several hundreds of hours of flying without any incident, and they have to provide all that data to the FAA, the FAA then has to analyze it, review it, decide if they approve it or not. Um, you know, so, so Amazon has the technological challenge that they have, uh, you know, designing the drones, building the drones, making sure the drones are big enough, safe enough, uh, can carry these packages, have the distance, can carry them for far enough and get back, and all of that. Then it has, so it has the, the technological challenge. It also has a logistic challenge. The logistic challenge is a real challenge. How do I how do I actually uh, get these drones uh, to be commercially viable? And which warehouses does it make sense for? Which customers does it make sense for? Which products does it make sense for? Can do things that are too heavy, and so on. So so uh, you, you know Amazon has to focus on the logistics, which are not easy. Uh, and then of course it has to deal with the regulatory issues of getting regulatory permission in order to do that. They have to solve the first two problems, and what they're doing right now is they're running two test locations, one in Lockford, California, uh, and one in, I don't know where the other one is. It doesn't say here. It just says two test locations in Lockford, California. So maybe they're both in California. Maybe they're both in this area in California. I thought the other one was like in Texas or something. I think it is. I think that's a typo in the, in the, uh, in the article. Anyway, um, so they are, yes, the other one is College Station. This is the home of um, uh, Texas A&M. The other one is, is College uh, Station in, in Texas. Um, uh, and uh, both of them are, you know, pretty small locations. Uh, Lock Fort Tech, California is home to about 3,500 people, so they're testing out on small. They're doing this, of course, again, not easy uh, to do, but they're accumulating the data. There have been a lot of delays, a lot of delays in terms of what they exactly wants and what they can do, and regulation, regulation. Um, so while, uh, so far, uh, uh, Prime Air has signed up about 1,400 customers uh, for ser services between the two sites. Because these locations are small, um, you know, it's hard to get customers. It's, hard, it's not clear that these are the ideal people for uh, this. So Amazon has subsidized the service. They've been giving uh, customers uh, gift cards and all kinds of other stuff to get them excited about this. And, um, you know, supposedly within the next few weeks, they will be providing the FAA with all this data, and then they'll sit and wait for the FAA to decide whether we get an improved service uh, with, uh, with uh, air. I mean, just imagine these kind of 
issues. I don't know, flying cars. I've, I've seen a number of companies working on flying cars. But just a number of different products that are out there, a number of services, a number of things that could be improving our lives that are stuck. Stuck, not for any uh, development reason, not because of lack of technology, not because of lack of capital, not because of lack of ability or customers, but just because they're waiting for the regulators, sitting and waiting for the regulators, waiting for permission, waiting for permission. One of, one of the ways to cons think about capitalism is capitalism is a permissionless society. You don't wait for permission. You don't ask for permission. You do. And one of the signs we don't live in a capitalist society is you need permission for everything. If you're an entrepreneur in so many fields, certainly in the banking space, you need permission for everything. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.